we solved the first part of this problem, which was to figure out how long this person had been walking from town back home. And you know the total travel time is three hours. You know the speed at which he rode his bike to town. And you know the speed at which he walked home from town. So basically what we did was set up our, our distance equals rate times time formula for both the bicycle and the walking, saying that the bike went 15 miles per hour for some amount of time, and that equaled a distance, and then the walking at 3 miles per hour times another time equaled the same distance, and that was the key to the formula, setting them up, so they realizing they both have the same distance, because going to town and from town were equal distances. And that was the key. We tied this together. We solved. We knew that the sum of both times was three. And eventually we found out that it took him two and a half hours to walk home. So now the second part of the question is, how long was his trip? Well, if, right, if he's walking for two and a half hours and his walking speed is three and a half out is his walking speed is three hours his walking time is I'm sorry if his time of walking is two and a half hours so T equals 2.5 hours and the speed or the rate equals three miles per hour right how far is he walking well that's just distance right equals the rate times the time so we multiply 3 by 2.5, and what's that? Well, 3 times 2 and a half, 3 times 2 is 6, times a half of 3 is 7.5, which means the distance he walks is 7.5 miles. But remember, he's starting off somewhere. Let's say that he's starting here. He rides his bike to town, drops his bike off at town, and then walks back on the same path. So if he walks 7.5 miles back to town, that means his total trip was 15 miles because he walked 7.5 plus 7.5 miles, right? Each way, his trip was 7.5 miles. So altogether, you could say his trip was 15 miles. All right, I just wanted to finish that problem up. Anyway, hope this helps.